everybody. You're back with YouTube's favorite couple. Once again, on this wonderful episode here, it's the Kid JW. It's Miss Diva Talks. That's yeah. So, one of us is not like the other. <laughs> Can you tell which one's the odd one here? <laughs> and no, you assholes, it's not me that's the eyeball. Yeah, for once. Although so, you got the look feel. So... <laughs> For the introverts out here. Me. Yes. For the extroverts out here. And then the ones that's in between. So, <sighs> question is, can you be a fake introvert just so you can pretend to have some whacked out crazy issues so you don't have to talk to nobody? I mean, I would pose that question to you since you're not an introvert. Could you fake being an introvert? I definitely can't fake it. I can't. Well, I'm both. So. I can fake being an extrovert. <laughs> no, but I can't I, fake being an introvert because that's what I truly am. Well, see, I would say me. I don't. I can't fake being an introvert because I'm a people person. But I always view it as it's a it's a vibe thing for me. Like if you put me in a room, I ain't talking to nobody. Especially if I don't know nobody, I ain't fucking with nobody. But if you come up to me and talk to me, and, I, and, I, and your vibe is on point, oh yeah. I'm like shit, shit. You think I'm? I'm just some. I'm hyped off like twelve lines of coke because that's the type of person I am. All right. But the vibe ain't there. I'm like a monk. I'm mute. I don't <laughs> say shit. So you know. But hey, don't take our word for it. We'll see what they say. From uh, what's psych to go. Psych to go. Brothers, have you ever wondered if you're actually introverted? While many people know their camp almost immediately, those who fall somewhere along the middle of the spectrum can have a harder time determining where they really stand. If so, hopefully this video can give you a clearer picture and answer your question. Let's look at six signs you're not an introvert. Number one, you prefer being with friends, but you don't dislike strangers. Everyone enjoys hanging out with friends, but when you're with new acquaintances, how do you feel about it? If you feel at ease talking with strangers and can become friends with them right away, you probably lean more closely to the extroverted side. While introverts aren't necessarily shy or socially awkward, it can be tiring for them to effortlessly let conversations flow with strangers unless they hit a common ground straight away. Ambiverts and extroverts, on the other hand, don't mind the prospect of entertaining strangers. They can hit things off and genuinely enjoy conversations about most things straight away. That's how uh, me and Mike, you know, Mike, Mike to the next, next building. You know, me and him, you know, me and Mike. You know, I don't know these people, but yeah, okay. Me and Mike, you know, this part of this damn he moved. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but we bonded over cars. You know, he was smoking cigarettes one day. I was out smoking weed. And I didn't have a lot left in my lighter. And so he's like, hey, like, hey, you smoke? Like, yeah. So we started talking and shit. And then, boom, we hit it off. Me and, me and every place I live, maintenance man, maintenance man, we cool. We yeah, you're even still friends with one on Xbox. Yeah, but I don't think he's been around in like ages though. Hmm. Um, Just the fact that you managed to get that close for them to. He played GTA. He played GTA. Did you ever play together though? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I needed the motherfucker for a heist. <laughs> what I'm saying. You know, my man's across the hall. You know. Dude. Connect with people. You're spontaneous. Do you like going out on every occasion you can rather than staying holed up in bed all day? If you find enjoyment in going on impulse trips alone or with your friends, you might have a more extroverted side in you that you might have initially realized. Most introverts tend to be more analytical and observant, thinking about a situation thoroughly before taking a plunge. On the other hand, if you'd rather go with the flow and see where things lead you, you're probably an extrovert. Number three, take a time out. Were you an extroverted kid? Were you somewhat popular or a class clown who enjoyed making everyone laugh? If you had extroverted tendencies when you were younger but have since outgrown them, you might still have a part of you that enjoys interacting with other people. Maybe some traumatic events have led you to stop being your usual self. Maybe being isolated is a coping mechanism rather than something you're naturally drawn towards. Whoa. While people can grow and change, it's always worth it to take a step back and find the roots of why you changed. Look, I still don't like being around people. Okay? 
I feel like I'm in therapy. This is working. This is good. <laughs> this is good. If you can't do it yourself, talk to a therapist or a good friend about it. Number four, you feel uninspired if you stay home on the weekends. Do you hate having nothing to do on the weekends? You may be an extrovert. Introverts are perfectly content having nothing planned for the days they get to rest. Those are the best days. All the fellow introverts watching this, y'all understand. Those are the best days. When you can wake up and have to do absolutely nothing. There's nothing like that. That is the best feeling in the world. Like, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to leave this room. I don't have to talk to nobody. I can just live in solidarity and peace. Just stay in the room. Because there's kissing, nothing to do. Kissing shit in the bed. Oh, the no. Now, see, you, you just take it too far. <laughs> but no. I mean, like, me, it's how I know I'm an, I'm an extrovert. I'm a both. I'm a bother because... Damn, you work. I'm a bother because... <laughs> If I stay, if I, if I don't have, if I don't do nothing, I feel like I am in a, I am straight panic attack mode oh, because I'm thinking, I, what did I forget to do? Yeah. I need something to do. You know, it could be as trivial as getting my car washed. I just need something to do. But if I if I sit in the bed or in the house all weekend long, nothing to do, I'm having a a, a panic attack because I feel like I'm missing something. I'm not doing. I'm I'm, I'm failing at something, and it's gonna fuck me up down the road. Hmm. Some may even enjoy the idea of canceled plans if it gets them to laze around in bed all day. Yes! Extroverts do love being out and about, though, whether it's to meet friends or to party. While introverts love their social time occasionally, extroverts would always try to find ways to fill up their weekend routine with a high energy and social endeavor like a party or meeting up with friends. Five. You're equally good at communicating and listening. Do you like shuffling between taking the lead and following others? If so, those are key qualities of ambiverts. Extroverts are more attuned to talking than listening, while introverts typically prefer listening. However, if you find yourself drawn to both qualities, you may not necessarily be an extrovert, but an ambivert instead. An ambivert is capable of making some small talk, then can switch gears and get to business with a good mixture of both listening and communicating well with others. And number six, you can match the mood of the crowd. Do you excel in reading the room? Can you hop into conversation with the same wavelength of someone else fairly easily? An introvert may take some time for themselves to diffuse and analyze situations. That's how you were at my cousin's birthday. Like you was quiet as hell. Like you just sat there, like, hey, you want to get a bowling? You just want to sit there. No, I'm, I'm good. Like it's just quiet as hell. And then shout out to my cousin though for, for, for striking kite. Like, hey, you know, because like we, we both we we got introverts in the family, but we don't really like them. Well, you know, but <laughs> we we will make you talk. Trust me, I know. <laughs> We will make you talk. That party is the perfect example. Yeah, oh, my we, gosh. We will make you talk. We will engage in conversation with you. You know, because we understand how you got to feel the vibe first and then boom. You know? Working things through in their head and on how to respond to strangers. Ambiverts and extroverts, on the other hand, can break in and naturally converse with other people much more readily. They also typically enjoy the moment and are more free-spirited than their introverted counterparts. We hope you learned something from this video. So which one are you really? Introvert or extrovert? Or maybe you're an ambivert. Did you relate to any of the above signs? If you did, let us know in the comment section below. That's all for now, Psych2Goers. If you found this video helpful, like and share it with friends. 1000% I'm an introvert. Everything she described about an introvert is definitely correct. And everything that she described about an extrovert were definitely the opposite. And it's in so. true fashion, we definitely clad on this one. But of course, I'm an ambivert though because I can do both. I can sit there, cry or whatever. I'm I'm there. You know. I would say you're an extrovert, but all right. But I got I but see I got to scan the room first. I got to check the vibe. You know what I think happened? What? Remember how I said during 2020. Mm -hmm. I said, all you extroverts is going to be introverts before this is all said and done, right? Mm -hmm. I think what happened to you is you ended up becoming an ambivert because that's probably what I should have said. Like a lot right. of you extroverts were going to come 
ambiverts. Right. Y'all gonna get a taste of what it's like to be an introvert and have a better understanding. Yeah. And we like it. Like, don't get it wrong. I tell like, I like my silence. I like my days where I'm, like, I have my moments where I want to talk to nobody. No one be bothered. But those days are small. <laughs> the amount of those days are, are slim. You know? But it's like, going through 2020, like, not have, not being around people, that, that initial stage was depressing as fuck. Like, I was depressed as shit. I saw my fat ass now because I just sat there and ate and drank beer all day and didn't have nobody to talk to. I had to go to the gas station and just buy beer and shit because everything was closed. Now, you know, everything's open. I can I can talk to people and I can exercise again, not be fat, you know. <laughs> but I also still like my days to myself. So it's like I'm a mixture of both because... You're an ambivert. Yeah, I get it. You're in the middle. Yeah, I'm a bulker. Mm-hmm. So... <laughs> But anyway, y'all, if y'all enjoyed this reaction, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe because, of course, you know we're coming back with more. And, of course, if you want to take a look at this video for yourself or maybe check out Psychogo's other videos, the links to both this video and their uh, YouTube channel will be in the description. Of course, where you can subscribe to me and JW on our, own our, platforms. our own platforms. <laughs> Those links will be in the description as well. Yeah, intro y'all. Um, uh, yeah, I don't like talking. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't like doing this. But, you know. Anything else to add? Do you. Do what you might make you good. Like, if you want to stay in the room in the dark with no lights on all weekend long, do it. If you, if you the perfect weekend. If you're the mixture of both and you got that stuff with someone in your life, you can't be by yourself like that. You got to gotta find that balance going and whatnot. Um. But on that note, you are on the routine. Catch you next time. We out. Bye, y'all.